Um, I was a, 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 a full-on heroin user. Um, I got introduced to the living room via the foot patrol, people who could walk around the city handing out syringes and yeah, I'd come down to have a look in 2005, March 2005, ever since then I've been coming here. The living room was established because in the late 90s there was a huge influx of very pure heroin on the streets of Melbourne. There was a lot of concern about the alarming ri rise in overdoses and uh, a perception about a lot of drug taking on the streets of Melbourne. It was based around the principles of holistic health and wellbeing so that we would provide a service that didn't just do one thing. It wasn't just about being able to see a doctor or a nurse, it was about the other things that contribute to a person's wellbeing. Yeah. And so is lawyers out there too. You know, I come here to uh, access uh, the food parcels, um, also, um, you know, just a, a talk, to sit down and have a talk, you know, a bit of support with people, you know, to uh, put something out there and try and get something back, you know, to work with. Um, you know, they've helped me out with uh, issues with, because I've got a daughter in under um, foster care, so they've helped me with that. When I first started coming here, I was a mess. Um, I was using drugs every day, as I said. Um, I've been in and out of prison since 2003. And when I'm in jail, living room, they've sent me magazines. Um, they write me letters every month or every second week. Um, they send me puzzles from the internet. They did heaps of stuff, you know, and, and I never had anyone to do that. Well, the primary health services is basically set up to help, you know, people who are marginalised, homeless or injecting drug users to access a health service that at m m most often they're not able to access these kinds of services. So it gives them a place where they can come, where they can feel comfortable. They're not, it's non-judgmental, they're not going to be judged, they're not going to be pushed out because of the way they look or the fact that they um, are using you know, illicit drugs. And it's an opportunity for them to be able to move forward in their lives, to help them address the issues that are going on and offer them support in being able to do that. Imagine being homeless and there's nowhere to take a shower, there's nowhere to wash your clothes, there's nowhere to send or receive mail or access the internet, there's nowhere to store your things, uh, there's nowhere to eat or even have a conversation with another human being. So we provide those sorts of very simple things that can make a big difference, but we also do the rest. We also have mental health counselling, we have doctors and nurses, we have referral to other services, we have a needle syringe program, we can provide HIV testing, hepatitis testing, uh, a broad range of just general medical services, looking at all of the needs that someone has that contributes to their well-being. I found it's helped me since I've been down here. I've come a lot better. They listen to you, they don't push you away, they're not judgmental. They're very, very good. It's actually given me steps to recovery. You know, I don't use much, I probably use twice, three times a fortnight now. Um, I've got myself a partner who I've met through the living room as well, who's another client of the living room. Um, and she's been a real big stepping stone for me, as has the living room, um, into my recovery. And I'm just, I'm, I, was, I can't say enough. Especially during the day when you've really you've done what you've got to do and there's nowhere to go, it's a good place to come for a coffee, uh, need to make a phone call, uh, use the internet, vice versa. If you've got a problem, you might chat with a staff member. You know, if you're feeling a bit down, it's just a really good place to be. Uh, they've changed my life so much, you know, it was sort of, I don't know, I've, I've actually you know, had a bit of a cry and to know that a support like Living Room can can help someone so much. There's, there's, no, there's, no other, there's no other place for me anyway that has made me so happy and changed me, you know, changed my attitude to, to, towards life and um, changed the way I, I feel about it within myself. If it wasn't for the living room, you know, there'd be a lot more people, uh, you know, that would be, I suppose, institutionalised, you know, whether it be mental health or um, jail. Uh, it's a place where, you know, you can actually come, have a bit of a break, a cuppa, a chat, and the staff here aren't 
about themselves and it's like an extended family.